18 different types, 18 different shinies. In this video, I'll be finding one shiny for every type of Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. What actually inspired me to start this video was that in this small area right here, you can find Wild Dragonite. But what I didn't realize is that they're actually set spawns, which means they will always be there no matter what. And that also means that you cannot spawn more and you cannot spawn less. I didn't realize that until after I made my shiny sandwich. I figured I might as well just go shiny hunt another dragon type and why not make it into a video? Why not shiny hunt every type? So that is exactly what we're doing. Since I'd already made a dragon type sandwich, the first Pokemon I'm going to go hunt is shiny Axew. There it is! Oh, that was so fast! Look at you! Oh, it's so adorable. I don't think I've ever actually gotten a shiny Axew before prior to now. I am so happy. Look at her. She is so pretty. I'm gonna throw a Luxury Ball and just see what happens. Oh, I found that so quick and a critical capture. Oh, let's go. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm gonna take a guess and say timid. That is not timid. What is that? That's oh, it is timid. Oh, I guessed right. I was thinking of um, I'm thinking of modest. I keep saying timid, but I may mean to say modest. But I did guess it right. I did say timid, and it's the uncommon mark. Axu the sociable. Our first shiny of the video is a mark shiny. Very nice. After finding Axew so quickly, we can cross off our first typing, Dragon. With basically half a sandwich left, I decided to head into the deep dark caves of Area Zero in hopes of being able to find another dual type Dragon Pokemon, such as Gibble or Dreepy, which are both Dragon and Ground and Dragon and Ghost types. Yo, what is bro doing? Oh my god, there are so many- like, Look at all of those Dreepies! There's only actually four, but... That looks so trippy. Is that a shiny goodbye? No. Wait, is that a shiny dreepy? No way. That's two in one sandwich and the high tier 120 FPS gameplay. Definitely not three FPS. Oh my God, that is so cool. That is such a nice shiny. I was so worried that I wouldn't be able to notice this if it was shiny. I didn't remember the, like the dark blue part being a really bright blue now. Oh, this is such a nice looking shiny. What ball should I catch it in? I'm gonna try a dive ball. I know that's really weird, but I'm gonna try a dive ball. I didn't think that would work. There we go, finally. After what felt like a million years, we finally caught the shiny Dreepy. Okay. So I guess timid wrongly last time. I'm going to guess modest. Modest is my favorite nature. But that is not modest that's a bold we have ourselves a bold shiny dreepy very nice very nice with luck on our side finding two shiny pokemon in only 20 minutes we can cross off our second typing ghost since we still have a little bit more time left on our sandwich i figured i might as well stay down here and see if we can find a shiny gibble Oh, no way, literally 30 seconds left and we find a shiny Gibble too, oh my gosh. That's three shinies in one sandwich, oh my gosh, no way. Look at that, it's like this big hammer blocking my view. I love that shiny for the record, but right now we're focused on this little man right here. We're good, what I can do is I can confuse right. So it has a chance to hit itself, damaging it even a little bit. I'm 
once again going to guess a modest nature. I did see the nature and it is not modest, unfortunately. It is hasty. Our hasty Gibble, who I am not going to evolve. However, that is dragon, ghost, and ground types. All done in one sandwich. Successfully catching our Gibble, we can cross off ground type from our list. We still have another 15 types to do though, so I have quite a bit of freedom as to what to hunt next. After roaming around Paldea, searching for the next Pokemon to shiny hunt, I decide that we're going to hunt for a shiny birthday hat. So I made my next shiny sandwich, went to my local birthday party, and waited. Alright, be honest, would you eat this? You know, maybe if I sing happy birthday, it'll make this shiny head center appear. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Ha oh, wait. Is that it? That's it. No, don't you dare run away. No, 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 no. You are not. Oh my god. I am the birthday boy. Let's go. Oh, first ball too. Oh, let's go. Oh, I'm so happy. That's such a good shiny. Look at her. I think it's a her. Yeah, it's a her. And isn't this Pokemon always a female actually? I think so. I'm gonna guess modest as per usual, other than that one time earlier. I guess timid because I'm stupid. It's n oh, what the no, no. It is marked though. Atena, the Cloud Watcher. Oh, that fits it so well because it's a birthday hat. So it's supposed to be up in the sky on your head. Look at you. You are so cute. With Hatena caught, we can cut off psychic types from our list, and then I go back to roaming around Paldea until I stumble upon a Marini outbreak. Oh, we are 100% doing a Marini outbreak. Oh my god. I've always wanted a shiny Marini alongside almost every other shiny Pokemon from Alola because they just have the best shinies for whatever reason. And only after 20 minutes, this happened. <gasps> oh my god! There it is! Oh my... I I'm pressing the wrong buttons. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I forgot how to save in this game. Oh my god. Look at it. Oh, it's so cool. I've wanted this shiny for so long. I just never got around to hunting it. Oh, it's such a nice shiny. She's so pretty. I'm going to try a love ball. Just full send it. Please. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. I'm so happy. You guys don't understand. I've wanted this shiny. I know I've said this a bunch of times, but I've wanted this shiny for so long. Shiny Marini. I'm going to guess Modest. That is docile. It's brave. We have ourselves a brave Marini. Wait, what? Come out of your Pokeball. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to fight. Oh, I didn't even get to see the sparkles either. And I can't get away, really. Look at you. Oh my god, you're hopping around. It's such a cool Pokemon. Oh, it's such a good shiny too. With our water shiny type found, I noticed a Miss Magius outbreak. Little disclaimer, I always thought Miss Magius was a ghost and poison type, and I'm not entirely sure why. So I guess it just slipped my mind that it was purely a ghost type, which we already have. But at the time of recording, I didn't realize that. So I went over to the outbreak, and I killed a bunch of Miss Magius until it turned day. Because Miss Magius is a Pokemon that only spawns at night. Since I didn't want to sit around and do absolutely nothing, I decided to put this hunt on pause. 
and go hunt an ice type Pokemon. Snorunt was the first Pokemon I had in mind, but I accidentally messed up the sandwich and I didn't get encounter power for ice types. Normally you would save your game before making a sandwich, so if this happens, you could just reset and go back. I didn't do that. But I soon realized that this hunt would be really annoying because of one singular Pokemon, Snom. I put both a shiny Snom and a normal Snom on screen, and I want you to spot the difference. Now, I want you to spot the difference at this size, in a snowy mountain, and in a game where the lighting makes every single Snom look different. But I'm the type of person who worries that if they don't check every single one of something, that one that they do not check is the one they're looking for. So if I didn't fight every Snom I found, the one that I didn't fight would be the shiny. I ended up spending more time killing Snoms than looking for shiny ice types. Thankfully, however, luck was on our side. Oh, wait, is that a shiny Sitaro? Well, that's so cool. Okay, well, I guess I'm not resetting because we got a shiny Sitaro. I don't know what ball you would look good in. So I'm going to do something that'll probably get me canceled. I mean, okay, that's my ice type done now, I guess. I don't know what to do because on one end, I could wait the next 12 minutes, but on the other end, it's not encounter power. But I think I'm just going to not worry about snoms. I'm just going to drive around for the next 12 minutes and see if I can find anything else. Is that another one? That is another one. I only got three minutes left on my sandwich. Yeah, I guess we'll, I guess we'll we'll catch it. We'll catch it. Ooh, we caught our first catch too. Let's check these curls out. Not in the weird. This one's really weird. I'm going to guess timid, of course. That's not timid either. That is a bold. We have ourselves a bold Satoru caught in a quick ball. And our second Satoru. I'm once again gonna guess timid. That's not timid either. That is careful. We got ourselves a bold, a careful Satoru. After finding two shiny Satoru's, we went back over to the Miss Magus outbreak to finish that, and that's when I finally realized. Okay, so funny story. I thought Miss Magius was a ghost and psychic type. Or a ghost and poison type. I thought this thing was dual typed and not just a ghost type. So with that being said, I've been hunting this thing for no reason. I feel like an idiot. Checking our map for the next hunt, I noticed an Arcanine outbreak and you already know we can't pass up on the opportunity to find ourselves a good boy. Look at him! Oh my god, there he is! Bro. Bro. No, I want to click. No, no! No, I don't want to be- Oh my- Does it ever stop? It just no. Let me. That is my Pokemon. That one right there. That's mine. Let me take him home. Dude. Does it ever stop? Does it ever stop? Thank you. Oh my god. Come here. That was an awful shiny, but you, listen, I, I just spent like five minutes trying to get that man a nice little crit cat too. Very nice. Look at my boy. Poor girl. Actually, I didn't look. Oh god. I finally escaped 
the infinite arcanine trap and now we get to look at our good boy of course i'm gonna guess timid i'm not, not timid i gotta stop saying timid i'm gonna guess modest this is some floor pulling up but he's he's goaded i think that's modest oh it's modest i was right that's so cool modest isn't that great on this pokemon so you know but that's still super cool with another type down, I decided that I want to spice things up and try something different. I'm going to be doing a Masuda hunt method. If you don't know what the Masuda method is, it's basically if you breed two Pokemon from two different regions of the world, the eggs they hatch have a higher chance of being shiny. So I grabbed myself a Decidueye, I grabbed my foreign ditto, popped out a picnic, moved over to this basket, and I mashed A over and over, collecting hundreds of eggs. After about 600 eggs, this happened. Yep, just the normal Rowlet. You thought I was gonna hatch a shiny, didn't you? But no, this game would never let me hatch a shiny owl that easily. If you follow my Twitter, shameless plug, you would have seen me tweeting super happy things about Masuda hunting. Definitely not me complaining about how long it takes to hatch a shiny. Oh, there it is. Oh my God. Look at it. I didn't even notice. I wasn't even looking. I was looking at my second monitor. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's so handsome. And he's calm. He got himself like calm. Rather, that's a really bad nature, but oh my god it's finally over i am never masuda hunting again look at him always flying oh my god i love him that's so cool that he flies oh i'm so happy yes you guys don't understand how happy i am i've been hunting this thing for three days almost non-stop i did it well over at least 600 eggs with a grass type down, next up is a fighting type, and I obviously am going to shiny hunt one of the best fighting types in the game, Iron Valiant. This is by far one of my favorite Pokemon from this region. It actually might be number one, but it's still 50-50 between this and Cerulege. We pop our sandwich outside Area Zero, head over to the cave where Iron Valiant is exclusively in. What in God's name? Iron Hands isn't even supposed to spawn here. Why is there one in the wall? Oh, wait. Oh, that's it. Oh, look at you. Look at them. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There we go. Alrighty. I'm gonna guess Adamant Nature for this one. I have no idea what that is. It's it's sassy. I mean, you definitely were annoying to catch, so I don't doubt this sass. After catching this badass of a shiny Pokemon, I head out to exit the cave where Iron Valent can be found. Wait a minute, is that a- are you shiny? Oh my god, I literally just stepped out of the cave. What? I was just about to go home one of these because I just didn't have one. Well, that's a shiny iron hands like 10 seconds after a shiny valiant, oh my god. I'm gonna guess adamant again because I'm pretty sure adamant's really good. Uh, that's so lonely. I don't even know what to say. Okay, I'm gonna jump by Flamingos. Look at my boy. He looks cool as heck. Well, after that just happened, we can now cross two types off of our list. Fighting and Electric. Our next target is Shiny Ponyard. Another shiny that I have always wanted but never actually went out of my way to hunt. But what better time to do it than in this video?
Oh, is that it? Oh, it is. Look at him or her. I don't know. Oh, dude. Oh, you're right here. There it is. He looks so cool. Alright. Heavy ball. You'd think I'd like... Throughout this video, I would be smart and have a false swiper by now. But I've just dedicated myself to not... Having a false swiper, and I guess we're just sticking with it throughout the entire video now. Hey, we got him. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna guess... Adamant, because I want Adamant. That is naive. A naive little poniard who likes to thrash. Crossing up steel types, given this is a dark and steel type, I feel like we should go get the dark type done and over with too. I got a Umbreon outbreak, as you just saw, and I want a shiny Umbreon. I'd also like to just have an evolution in this video, and Umbreon is going to be my target. So. Let's get to killing. One eternity later. We kill every Umbreon in sight, maxing our shiny odds using this outbreak method. And as you may have noticed during the kill montage, Umbreons can spawn in the walls. Now it would really suck if our shiny spawned in the wall. <gasps> no way! It's in the wall! Wait. Can I... Can I encounter it? Oh, I can! You were hiding in the wall. I knew there was gonna be one in the wall. I just, I knew it. Oh, that's such a nice looking shiny though. Oh my God. Uh, I just, I knew it would be in the wall. I don't know how I knew. I just had a gut feeling that I'd find one in the wall. We gotta do a moon ball. Probably won't catch it first try because it's a catch rate, but. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Critical capture, that means I caught it, right? Yes, sir. Let's go. Oh, this is such a good shiny. I'm gonna guess modest. That's not modest. That's... N oh, uh, no. <laughs> not again. Oh, well, that's our dark type Pokemon. And damn, is that ever a good one? Look at you, bro. It's such a good shiny. This is definitely top three shinies for evolutions. Oh, all right, well, oh, that's I'm so happy. Such a good shiny. We found so many good shinies in this video. Like just looking at our collection, so many nice shinies. I'm so glad I decided to do this video. With two thirds of the types found, we currently only have six types left. Fairy, rock, normal, flying, poison and bug. I decide that we should go hunt for a poison encounter next, and Krogunk is our choice. The reason for this is Krogunk is a poison and fighting type, but if I make a fighting type sandwich, Krogunk will spawn everywhere. But also, if we find a shiny Krogunk and there's still time left, we can go hunt for a fighting and flying type Halucha. That way we can get Krogunk, which is a poison type, and Halucha, which is a flying type. Trying to kill two birds with one stone, we make our sandwich and start looking for our light blue frog. Oh my god! There it is! Oh, let me fall. There it is! He just loafing around. My boy don't give no crabs. Oh sh Oh, he back to not giving a damn in the world. Oh! I think he heard that. You want the smoke? Bring it on, buddy. Yes, sir. Break out. Oh. There we go. We got ourselves our shiny crow gunk. And it's a girl. I didn't even realize. I'm going to guess she is a modest nature. It's not modest. It's a gentle. And she has a ribbon. Crow gunk, the sociable. My boy is munching over there. Following our plan, we next head over to where we previously found our shiny Arcanine, as Haluja can spawn there as well. I was just trying to save my Urban Mystica, but... Okay. Oh! 
Oh my god, wait, that's a full- what the heck? Wait, he's just kind of there. Dude, I don't have a sandwich going at all. That's so cool. Yo. What the heck? I was literally thinking to myself too, I'm surprised that we haven't found like a duplicate shiny. Like a duplicate type shiny yet. And we got the crit cat. Let's go. Okay, well this isn't part of challenge, but a shiny is a shiny. And that's a full lot shiny, so that is so cool. And I just caught Ponyard too, so I got the whole line now. Um, oh, and it has the Leader's Crest, so if I wanted to evolve it, I could, but I don't think I'm going to. I didn't do a, a Nature Guess, but that's quiet. I wouldn't have guessed quiet anyways, so I guess modest. We already have both a Dark Type Shiny and a Steel Type Shiny, so we can't cross anything off this list. We then head to the desert where we can find Larvesta. So I forgot to record again, because I would stop recording after I find a Shiny. That way my file size isn't that big and it's easier to organize. Anyways, I'm now going to be hunting Larvesta. Because I, it's another Pokemon I want and we need a bug type. W really? Do I, I'm a minute and a half into this. Okay. Look at my guy. He's just chilling. Wow, okay. He's gonna fight it, I guess. Okay, shiny Larvesta that quick. Look at it. Oh, I've never had a shiny Volcar on it either, so I'm actually so happy. This is such a nice shiny too. I'm not a hundred percent certain, but I'm pretty sure once you complete the Pokedex, if you don't get a crit cat, you don't catch the Pokemon. Oh, that's my <laughs> I know this is gonna happen. I made chicken nuggets and they're in the okay, stop. They're in the oven right now, and I knew I was gonna find them. I was gonna find the shiny while they were in the oven. I will be right back. Twelve seconds later. Alright, let's look at this girl. Oh, I thought it was a guy. I'm once again going to guess modest. It's not modest. It's brave and it has a title. Larvesta, the sociable. Look at you, girl. Oh, I am so excited to evolve you. You're actually kind of big too, like comparing sizes to the other ones around. Look at her trying to keep up. After finding the Larvesta, I went to see if we could find a shiny Oricorio, but no luck. However, we can cross off the bug type from our list, leaving only four types left. I make a rock sparkling encounter sandwich and start looking around the rock titan to see if we can find ourselves a shiny cloth. A beautiful shiny that I've wanted ever since I laid my eyes on it. I was starting to worry after around the 25 minute mark and no shiny, but thankfully the shiny gods came through last second. <gasps> Yo! Oh! Dude, that looks so good! I've seen clips of it, but I've never actually like, seen one in game. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my god. I was worried too, or like, there's next to no time left on my sandwich, so I might be here a little while. Just remember, I have 96 dive balls right now. I'm gonna cut to when I catch it, we're gonna see how many I have left. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Yeah, I have two minutes left on my sandwich. I'm gonna guess it's not modest. Modest would be bad. I'm gonna guess bold. That's careful. We got ourselves a careful cloth. Hello, you were very close. You just tried to eat my face. That's crazy. 15 types down, next up is the fairy typing. Now the first thing that comes to mind for me is the Ralts line. This is by far one of my favorite Pokemon evolution lines, so you know I have to hunt it. <gasps> oh, 
There it is. Look at it. Oh, it's so good. I love this Pokemon so much. Like, it's one of my favorites of all time. Look at it. It's so. It's just staying in there. It's not saying hi or nothing. Hi. I can't tell what gender you are. I actually don't know the gender difference. There it is, shiny Ralts. It's a male. Ooh, we could make it a Glade. I think a Great Ball is kind of fitting. And we caught it first ball too. Let's go. Look at him. And he's adamant because it's going to be a Glade. It's a neutral nature. It's bashful. It takes plenty of siestas. I got no idea what that is. There we go. That is our fairy type. Only two more types left. Oh, that's so... It's such a good shiny. I love this shiny so much. It makes me so happy. With only two types left, being flying and normal, I decided to make a sparkling power flying sandwich and roam around the region since flying types can spawn basically everywhere in Paldea. And eventually, we stumble upon this little guy. Yo! Shiny Rookie D! Dude, I'm literally four minutes into the sandwich! No way! It's such a good shiny! Yo! I actually tried hunting this twice in this video. Hey, buddy. I had a Rookie D outbreak and I tried to catch it there, but I ended up falling asleep because it was like four in the morning, so that never happened. And then actually the same thing happened yesterday. Last night I was hunting before bed for a shiny Rookie just to get our flying type done and I didn't find it. That also is partially because I did just end up going to bed mid hunt. But you gotta understand when you're really, really tired, it is hard to shiny hunt. And a critical capture, let's go. Fun fact, actually Rookie is one of the four Pokemon. I don't know, I'm looking at it this way. That are just a pure flying type. I'm going to guess... Hmm, I was gonna say Moxie. Modest. I always forget the name of Modest. That's... We just saw that one, didn't we? No, we didn't. It's a rash. This Rookie D has a rash. Oh no. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite shiny regional bird? I think mine might have to be Fletchling. But this is a very close second. The way he just flies around. I'm not gonna evolve this, honestly. Only one more type to go the normal typing. And what better way to end off this video by shiny hunting a normal type Pokemon that can evolve into eight different types. That's right, we're going to find ourselves a shiny Eevee. After using the date skip method to reset our outbreaks and heading five months into the future, we find what we're looking for. Finally, oh my God. If you know anything about date skipping, you can change your switch's date to reset your outbreaks. I have date skipped from the current date which is august 16th all the way to january 16th of 2024 after wiping out the entire ev population i begin resetting the outbreak by running in and out of medali which if you didn't know all overworld pokemon will despawn when you run into a city or a town so if you keep running in and out the spawns will reset over and over again doing this i was able to reset the outbreak plenty of times Oh, wait, there it is. Look. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, wide. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm just happy it's over. I've been hunting this thing for two and a half hours. He is so handsome. Oh. There we go. Yes, sir. I'm going to guess modest. Not that. It is a quirky, quirky little man. 
I decided not to evolve a shiny Eevee, since evolving it would change its normal type into a different type, and that kind of defeats the purpose of hunting for one. This, however, crosses off our last type required in finding a shiny Pokemon of every type. Let me know in the comments down below which of the 18 Pokemon we found in this video was your favorite. Personally, I think mine would have to be the Ross line, since I mentioned about a million times that this is one of my favorite evolution lines. However, I think I am the most happy with the Rowlet, given that it took the most time and the feeling of finding it was a like no other. If you guys are new around here, I would greatly appreciate if you could click that subscribe button as we're currently on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.